repair the F-138 engine for the C5M Super Galaxy. We mainly look over the engine and see uh, what's wrong. If there's a problem, like a, I don't know, like a fuel leak in the engine, then we fix it. Anything that has to do with the engine, we, we fix. My daily duties consist of uh, routine inspections, uh, maintenance, anywhere from oil engine servicing to more complex component replacements. Some of the technicians I work alongside would be crew chiefs, electrical, uh, avionics technicians, to name a few. It's important to do our part uh, to keep the engine well maintained, to ensure the safety of the crew and the aircraft, and make sure nothing goes wrong in the sky. Because unlike a car, you can't pull over at it. So what would you do if you needed to load an Apache helicopter on a plane and the winch was broken? You would attempt to order another winch, but what there's no more winches? You'd have to come up with a solution to that problem. We have created AMC's first winch repair facility. The importance of the winch uh, and what makes them so valuable for us is anything that has wheels that's not self-propelled, uh, a NASA satellite, an Apache helicopter, a Chinook, uh, age equipment, all that stuff needs to be winched on the aircraft. So without the winches, you are you know, essentially crippling the mission the C-5 has. So during the implementation of the dual power winch, there was a couple issues with the cable. The cable would knife, and the Air Force's solution was to turn it into supply and order a new one. Uh, knifing is caused on these uh, winches from the top layer of cable being drugged down to below the layer below it, and then it will create a knot, so it's essentially like tying your shoes, but on a winch. When that happens, the winch is now useless. It will only go one direction and that is in. Um, there's no way to fix that except for to remove the rope and to uh, re-spool the winch. Uh, it happened so often that we ended up uh, depleting the entire stock. Uh, there are no more, they don't make no more, there's no support for these. So we had to come up with our own ideas. The first thing we thought of was, why can't we do this? Uh, when, when they originally started breaking, we would turn them into supply is bad. They'd get shipped somewhere to get a brand new winch. I'm an off-roader myself. I have a winch on my vehicle. If I damage my winch or my winch cable, I'm not replacing the entire winch. I'm replacing a cable. So we went up to, to engineering. We went up to AMC leadership. Hey, let us just replace the cables. Save, save some money. There are over 120 winches that were made for the C5. They're either in service currently or in a warehouse broken. We acquired the proper documentation, we acquired the proper waivers, and we created our own uh, procedure on how to re-spool these winches correctly. Every C5 winch could potentially go through this shop, uh, depending on how long they're in service. We are the only place in AMC that's doing this right now. We're the only pe people that have made our own uh, equipment to do so. So if they stay in service long enough and they just knife keep knifing or break down they might come all come through currently with uh what we've repaired and what we have on hand repaired uh, we've saved the air force over 10 million dollars and uh, if we continue this we could save a potential over 30 million dollars